Hey, you guys. So I'm out of training. It's about four o'clock. I'm about to head on to pick up my baby from school, from dance. I know um, Marcus picked up Kimani, so I'm on my way to pick up my baby girl. And this training was very informational. I gotta be back at headquarters tomorrow for, um, I always burp, I'm so sorry you guys, but I have to come back tomorrow for another day and then of course Thursday is the last day so today we just covered two basic um, modules or whatnot and it was very informational so um as soon as I you know get Mariah and I can get home and kind of like just get comfortable I would definitely be back um and, you know and let you guys know kind of um what type of training that I'm going through and you know basically just give you a little details as to far what I'm trying to do so but happy to say to you guys um i meant to say that to y'all but i didn't pick up the camera this morning so i was you know kind of like trying to rush and get the kids school on time so i can get to headquarters on time so happy tuesday hoping everybody tuesday is going good so far and i'll talk to you guys when i get home i was supposed to come back and talk to you guys yesterday but <laughs> things um kind of went left after i um put my camera down so right now i'm still up here at headquarters at my job i'm on lunch well technically i'm about to go back in because lunch is over so i just came and sat in the car to try to collect my thoughts um so that's pretty much um that today is wednesday and december 9th so that's pretty much that um so far you know i'm just going through training so but as soon as i get off or whatnot when i have a little bit more time i will come back and talk to you guys um i know i'll talk to you guys at four o'clock Hey y'all, so I'm done with training. It's 3.11. I thought I was going to get out by 4, but um, we got done pretty early. So last day is tomorrow. So basically, I just wanted to stop on here really quick and let you guys know um, basically what kind of training this was. Um, so trainings basically is to help as far as your leadership skill to expand my knowledge and I also like to learn different new things of whatnot so this training that I'm going through is basically how to be an effective leader and knowing the difference differences between being ineffective and being effective so that's basically why my supervisor trained I mean not trained but signed me up for you know for me to do this so I'm just basically um going through this training and whatnot so when i do apply for a higher position a higher position i'll have the qualifications and i'll have the knowledge the training and stuff like that so that's basically um what this training is in regards of you know just to expand my knowledge so i just feel like this training is very effective you know i'm i feel like I can I walked away from here today as well as yesterday with something else new that I can do not just at work but also when I'm not at work so I'm very you know happy about that and I am very happy that um that my leader my supervisor that she you know recommended me to go and I also have another tr another training next Thursday that I have to go to as well every training that I'm taking is basically to help and just to give me some you know different um ways that i can you know talk and present myself very happy that i was able to be a part of this training i also ran into one of my old trainers um that trained me when i first started at this company and you know it was good seeing him um yesterday i didn't pick up my camera you guys because i just had a very very bad day so basically mariah had an incident that happened at school and it just led from from the incident when i picked her up from dance it just went somewhere else it's like literally just snapped off yesterday as far as just like feeling overwhelmed again and just feeling like a lot is just being piled on me at this time 
and as a mother as a wife you know working and just other things you know my mind is constantly going at a constant rate you know what i'm saying like i'm always trying to find ways to improve myself i'm always trying to you know help others i feel like i go over and beyond for people and to be completely honest i don't feel that i get that in return and yesterday was just my breaking point um it was just my breaking point, you know. I every day I strive to be a better person than than who I was the day before, you know. And even though the next day is not promised to us, I strive my hardest that when I do wake up the very next day to try to do something totally different than what I did the day before, you know. Um I look at life as stepping stones. I look at life as you know, this is everything you're still learning. You have to, you learn something new every day. And it's basically up to you. It's basically up to you of how you receive it. And what do you do with the information that you learn? So it was one of them things yesterday. And I just felt like I've, I always feel like I go over and beyond for people. You know, I hardly say no. I give off the respect that I will want people to give back to me and I treat others like I want to be treated and I just feel like I wasn't being appreciative pre appreciated um I feel like what I had going on was overlooked I felt like what I had to say didn't matter and I just felt slightly disrespected I'm not perfect I make mistakes but I also learn from my mistakes and when I know that I've made a mistake I always take ownership of the mistake that I made whether I knew or didn't I always take ownership a lot of things that I just was feeling yesterday and I was very teed off because I just want to be treated how I treat other people and I know that I can expect that from everybody but when there's people that's close to me like family or spouse or you know whatever people that's close to me that know me that I communicate with on a daily a daily basis I feel like you need to treat me how I treat you and if I'm not treating you the way that you want to be treated or you feel like I'm being disrespectful to you or you feel like I'm mistreating you in any kind of way you definitely will need say something to me you know i'm very approachable just say something to me but to continue on doing it that pisses me to hell but i don't betray any of that i was just so over it i was so over yesterday so i had time to reflect on what had transpired yesterday and i'm going to do my best of just trying to move forward but there's a lot of things that i have to change that i'm not going to do anymore because I just feel like I'm not being a pre like people just have really been taking my kindness for weakness and I just feel like people has been pushing my buttons and I don't think it's right I think it's hurtful and I think it's very inconsiderate and thoughtless that you can really do that to somebody after they have address addressed it to you that you're doing it to them like they're pinpointing like right there like you're doing it right now you're doing it and they still could be i don't know what you're talking about like why are you so sensitive and it's not me being sensitive you know what i'm saying it's me expressing to you that what you're doing what you're doing is affecting me okay it's bothering me i don't do that to you so give me the same respect in return so that's what it was and try again today so that's that in a nutshell but i'm about to go ahead and leave out the parking lot i've been sitting here for the last 12 minutes i just wanted to get that out to you guys and let y'all know know that but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um i'll talk to you guys a little bit later peace and god bless good morning everybody happy thursday seven o'clock i've been up since 6 30 and my kids so it's seven o'clock been up
up since 6 30. <laughs> why aren't they ready exactly um i'm about to go ahead and start getting ready because I have to be at work by 9, they have to be at school by 7.50, it's already 7 o'clock, even though the school is about only 10 minutes around the corner, um, they, they're slow, my kids are slow in the morning, so when it's something that they want to do, they be moving, they even be rushing me, but they're not moving as quick as I want them to this morning, so, um, I'm just sitting on the side of the bed trying to collect my thoughts really quick before I get up and start getting everything together. So, I want to say good morning and happy Thursday. 8.40, sitting in the parking lot. Oh my goodness, I am so ready for the weekend, y'all. Like, seriously. So, after I put my camera down... And, you know, had to go in there and get these kids together because they was just taking a precious time getting ready. Um, MJ was up, so, you know, he was interfering. They was playing, and night was up. and So I had to intervene, you know, get on my mommy-ish. Um, we still, I still ended up getting the kids to school maybe five to seven minutes late because I had to take... The library books that I got for Kimani and Mariah, I had to take them. I have to take them books back today. So when I was about to walk out the door, I told them to grab the books, <laughs> and Mariah couldn't find one of the books. So we spent, well, they spent about ten minutes looking for the book. Okay, you know them and Marcus, you know, looking for the book. I gets up, I goes in her room. I looks up under the bed because she says she looked up under there. I looks up under the bed and long and behold, what do I find? So it was like there in plain sight. So that pushed me behind or whatnot. So I had to rush to get them there and, you know, to get here. I just not too long ago pulled up like maybe two or three minutes. Um, I didn't have time to stop at Tim Hortons and get me nothing. If I would have tried to stop like five or six minutes ago, I wouldn't have time to really sit in the car, you know, eat my breakfast sandwich and just collect my thoughts. Um, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on today. Peace. So I finally just got home, just got done picking up Mariah from dance. Um, before I had went and picked her up, I stopped at the pet supply store and Marcus had researched some um dog food because you know we've been having a trial and error as far as um what best dog food to put um night on so he ended up researching what is this called taste of the wild and blue buffalo so they pretty much run neck to neck they are pretty much expensive but as I was telling him, we're just gonna have to bite down and just be getting him one of, you know, between those two, we're just gonna have to buy it because it's more healthier for him. So he just gave him like a sample. We'll fill this bowl up and he's practically done eating it. So I believe that's gonna be our go-to brand now is Taste of the Wild. I think for like a medium sized bag it runs about $45 or $50 between $45 to $50 so and that's the biggest bag is the medium size they don't really have no real real big bag so just had to bite down and, and come out of our pockets for it but definitely don't want to just be feeding him you know any type of bull crap so That's pretty much um, that. So. Mark is standing right here. I guess he doesn't want to be on the vlog. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to be on the vlog because he acting funny. They can still see you. So what? I ain't here. 
look that way. I can't. MJ, huh? say hi to the people. Hi. Then Kimani. So up here doing his homework. He has a test tomorrow. So, but we ain't doing nothing. Like I said I just got home. Still ain't took my stuff off yet. Y'all can see, still got clothes on and everything. So I'm probably about to end the vlog here. Really, like I said, it's been a one of those weeks. It's working nonstop. And you know, that's all it's been going on all week is work, work, work. So Oh, I did want to show you guys. Um, you already know my friend um, Tria, the Nightlife 922. So you already know that we are friends outside of YouTube. Well, not just on YouTube, outside of YouTube. I'm sorry, it's a little dark in my room and I'm not going to be here that long. But she, you know, got her a little planner of organizing. And I ended up finding me one too. And it's just like one of these and i got it at marshall's and it's actually a mom planner for moms only it has so much stuff in there that you can just set up like between morning evening and afternoon or morning afternoon and evening it's got different slots that you can put for like your kids name stuff like that and just what you have to do throughout the day so I would definitely, um, I've been writing in it and it's been helping me. And I also have one on my, well, app on my phone that I use too. So, it's been helping me a lot. So, that was pretty much what today, Thursday, consisted of. Um, like I said, drop the comments below as far as if anybody can give me some tips of the music that I can put in my intro. Um, as far as so I don't be flagged. And what site I can probably go on. Like I said, I don't have an issue as far as putting like 15, 30 seconds between, you know, like clips and stuff like that. But for my entire intro, I believe my intro is like maybe 20 seconds, um, if I'm not mistaken. So I just want to have something that I'm not going to be flagged for. And I basically would appreciate it if you guys can drop the comments below uh, for those who have their intro and have actual, you know, music. Um, so, but I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go ahead and get adjusted. Need to figure out where what we are about to eat. Can't talk. I've been talking all day at work, so need to figure out what we're gonna eat. And it's pretty much that. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.